to America's newest game show, where some youngster may win a college scholarship and a host of wonderful prizes just by being quick on the draw. Now, see how quick on the draw you can be. Here with his sidekick, Jerry Mahoney, is the star of our show, your host, Paul Winchell. Thank you very much, and welcome once again to Quick on the Draw. Thank you. Will you stop that? Your, your, your hat is hitting me. Do you like it? Oh, it's a very lovely hat. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Keep the change. Much obliged. Who's working your head? <laughs> now, look, you. Don't you talk to me like that. I've got a bone to pick with you. About what? Well, I happened to run into your teacher on the street today. With your car, I hope. <laughs> no, not at all. She told me some awful things about you with, with history and with geography. Well, on history, I got an excuse. Yes, what's your excuse? Well, my history teacher is so old that she doesn't teach history, she remembers it. Oh? And what about geography? She said you didn't even know the shape of the world. Well, gee whiz, I couldn't help it. What do you mean you couldn't help it? Could you give me just a little hint? A hint to the shape of the world? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll try. Uh, what's the shape of my wife's earrings? Square. No, I mean the one she wears on Sundays. Round. Good. Now, what's the shape of the world? Square on weekdays, round on Sundays. Oh, <laughs> Haven't you learned one thing well in school? Well, you know what I can do? What can you do? I can recite the whole alphabet backwards. Backwards? Mm-hmm. Well, that's phenomenal. All right. Let's have the whole alphabet recited backwards. Okay? Watch this. Go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Wait a minute. Turn around. <laughs> we'll discuss this further a little later on. Right now, we'll get ready to play quick on the draw. But first, watch this. What you like? What? All right, Jerry, are you ready to help us with our clues? I certainly am. All the clues is hanging on a clues line. <laughs> All right. Well, then, let's meet our guest. Johnny Gilbert, who's first? Well, Paul, first from the Bronx, a very pretty little girl who knows how to cook pizzas and has lots of boyfriends, Merle Baldwin, and... And her opponent from Horsechester, New York, a concert pianist whose hobby is horseback riding, Warren Wolf. <laughs> Well, Merle Baldwin, uh, he's certainly right. You are a very pretty young lady. Uh, Warren, have you two met uh, before? Yeah. I'd like you to say hello to each other. Yeah. This is Merle. This is Warren. Yeah. Uh, did he say that uh, you have uh, a lot of boyfriends? Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, you must. You're a very, very lovely girl. Do you have any sisters that look yeah. like you? you? do? No. Do you have any brothers? No. Would you like to have a brother? I don't know. No? Jerry, she yeah. hasn't got any brothers. Oh, sister. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, how many boyfriends have you got? Three. Three boyfriends? Yes. Uh, what kind of boys do you like? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Well, look at yeah. Warren over here. I think he's a pretty handsome young fella. You, you think you'd like his type of fella? I don't know. How about you, Warren? Would you like Merle? I don't know. Nobody knows nothing. <laughs> no, but, but really, uh, 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 is, do you like girls at all? Yeah. You do like girls, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. Well, uh, I want you to look at, uh, look at Merle. Uh, I think we could start something here tonight, folks. <coughs> uh, tell me, uh, uh, I just heard that, uh, that you have, or you can stop looking at her now. It's, uh, 
I hear that you are uh, interested in horseback riding, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, somebody told me, I think it was your mother before the show, that something happened lately uh, with you uh, while you were going horseback riding that sounded... I, I didn't quite get it clear. Would you mind telling me what it was? Well, we were driving on a throughway and with my mother's friend's daughter and me. You were driving on a throughway? No, no, with my mother. <laughs> oh, yes, I know, with your mother. <laughs> and we decided to go horseback riding. While you were driving? <laughs> Yeah, we were thinking about it. Oh, but you were driving in a car. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, look, uh, I'm sorry we don't have quite enough time to hear that story, but after the show, you must tell it to me. But look, uh, do, you, uh, do, you, do you want to try to win some prizes now? Sure. You do? You too? Yeah. Okay, well, let me explain one thing. I think that you both understand that your picture, when it's completed, represents a well-known saying, a quotation, uh, the song title, the, the name of a book, almost anything. Now, if you give us the correct answer before the drawing is completed, well, you get a perfect score of 1,000 points for our top prize. And the first one to press the buzzer gets the first try. To show you how it works, why don't you both press that little square right there? Just press it and see how... There you go. Just press it once lightly. The lights go on and we hear the buzzers. However, if you guess incorrectly, then your opponent will be given a free guess when the picture is completed. You understand? Okay, let's start with your first picture now and we'll see which one is quick on the draw. Now I can tell you as you watch that this is a well-known saying, okay? A well-known saying. And you don't have to wait until the picture is completed. As soon as you think you know it, just press that buzzer in front of you. I, I saw something happen in the middle of this picture, and if you guess it correctly, you can get a, uh, our top prize of a thousand points. But if you guess incorrectly, then Warren has a free guess when the picture is completed. You understand? Yes. All right, what do you think this well-known saying is? When the cat's away, the mice will play. When the cat's away, the mice will play is absolutely right. <laughs> Well, Merle, I will say that that is pretty phenomenal. Tell me, how did you get that, uh, that quickly from that one clue in the picture? Well, I don't, I don't really know. Well, it said the cat was going up in a rocket ship and the mouse was, the mouse was there. Yeah, and what is the mouse doing? Did that help you at all? No. No? But just from seeing... the mouse and the cat. You mean the cat and the mouse alone, you were able... When, when I saw him in the rocket ship. And that ship. tipped it off for you, huh? Yes. Well, that's wonderful. That's certain. My, you're, you're certainly not only very attractive, but you're also very uh, uh, perceptive, too. Well, that's great. Uh, Warren, I'm sorry we didn't have quite enough time to find out about that horseback incident, and uh, also not enough time for you to try guessing, but uh, I don't want you to be unhappy, because for you, we have a very, very handsome 17-jewel wristwatch that any young man would be proud to wear. Now, let's see. Uh, we have 1,000 points. Well, that's quite exciting to start off with our very, very first game, getting the top prize of 1,000 points. So, Merle, let's find out what you get for 1,000 points. Johnny Gilbert? Well, Merle, you won a week's stay in Hollywood, California, for you and your mother or dad. Highlighting your stay will be a visit to the fabulous wonderland for children of all ages, Disneyland. And you fly to Hollywood on Trans World Airlines, the super jet airline. And it's yours for being quick on the draw. How do you feel about that? It's wonderful. Wonderful, huh? Pretty exciting, isn't it? Well, I'm sure that you'll enjoy the flight and you'll enjoy Disneyland, too. Now, before we meet the next player, let's all watch this.
Well, that was very exciting to break our top prize on the very first game. Now let's meet our next player, Johnny Gilbert. Who's next? Well, Paul, our next player is a boy whose hobbies are rock collecting and bowling, and he wants to be an archaeologist when he grows up. Say hello to Jason North. <laughs> Well, he's a fine-looking young man with a very neat haircut. You, is that true what he said? You want to be an archaeologist? Yes. What, uh, what started this uh, desire? Well, I was reading in a magazine about this article, about archaeology. Yeah. It seemed interesting, so I took out a few books from the library, and I read up about it, and it seemed interesting, so I wanted to become an archaeologist. But the magazine article started the whole thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, an, uh, an archaeologist, of course, digs around ruins, and he, he, has, to, he has to find uh, mummies. How dare you use that word? I didn't say dummy, I said mummy. Well, my mummy was a dummy. <laughs> oh, and I'm very sorry. I apologize. Oh, he's right. He's right. That was a very poor taste. I'd like to apologize to your mummy. Well, have him dig her up and you can do it. <laughs> oh. Uh, it also says that you're interested in bowling, huh? Mm-hmm. What was, what was your top score in bowling? 156. That's a pretty good score. You know something? I, uh, I tried to get Jerry interested in bowling, but he wouldn't take to it. As a matter of fact, I even bought him his own ball, but he brought it back to the, to the department store. Well, I had to. There was holes in it. <laughs> I had to. There was holes in it. Well, there's supposed to be holes in it. How do you expect the bowl? Oh, you've got to be holes in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a kid. Uh, tell me, do you have any uh, brothers or sisters? Yes, I have an older brother. You have an older brother? Uh-huh. And no younger brother? No. How do you get along with your older brother? Mm, pretty good. You do get along okay. Not too much fighting? Well, sometimes we fight. About what? Money. <laughs> How could you fight about... What do you mean you fight about money? I don't understand that. Well, see, my brother may leave some money on a drawer. Yeah. And I may leave some money on the drawer. Yeah. So when uh, my mother comes around cleaning the house, yeah. she might take some... Some of my money and my brother's money. Oh, so you blame your brother for taking... He blames you? Mm hmm And your mother's taking all the money? Mm-hmm. You hear that, Jerry? Yeah, while the kids are fighting, the old lady's getting rich. <laughs> oh! <laughs> all right, look, I'll tell you what. Maybe, uh, maybe you can win something that's worth a lot of money in this game. Are you both ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, then we want you to watch very closely this next drawing, and we'll find out who is quick on the draw. And as you watch, I want you to remember that this is a line from a classical play. Just press that buzzer. It's a famous line from a classical play. All right, the picture is completed, and since neither of you have guessed it up until now, we'll go right on with our game. 1,000 points is over for now, so we'll start at 900 points and let you know that this line from a classical play has six words in it. All right, Merle, since you are our winner of the last game, would you just reach in there and pick out a little block and tell us what letter is on it? U. U. Let's turn over the letter U, and that means that there's a picture clue. Now watch as a picture clue is drawn. Jerry, will you explain it? Now there's a picture of what Winchell Ann. You guessed it, kids. A great big ham. Here, here now. All right, there's a ham. That's a picture clue giving you 10 seconds. It's not necessarily a part of the line, but it is an important clue, the ham. All right, time is up now. Now for 800 points. Jason, would you please reach in and pick out the next letter and sing out nice and clear what you've got? A. A, the letter A, and the letter A is another picture clue. Watch it being drawn. Jerry, would you explain it? Well, Winchell gives me a look that kills once a month when he gets my bill. <laughs> bill, there's a bill. Also an important clue, however, not part of the line. Ten seconds now. As soon as you know it, let me hear that buzzer ring. A line of a classical play. All right, time is up now for 700 points. Merle, would you do us the honors now? And you I. have... I. I. The letter I, and that's the word B. The word is B. Ten seconds almost up. 
All right, time is up now for 600 points. Jason, it's your turn once again. Will you get us the next letter? And we can reveal the letter... K. K, the letter K. The word... Oh, another picture clue. Jerry, supply this while the picture clue is drawn. This guy is puzzled. He's in the dark. As you can see, better question mark. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, I see the light go on in Merle's desk and also a little light in her eye. You think you know it? If you guess incorrectly, however, Jason will get a free clue and a free guess. You understand that? All right, what do you think it is? I think it's to be or not to be. You not only think, you think right. To be or not to be. Well, there it is. You're right again. You seem uh, pretty excited about it all, huh? Well, look, let me ask you, how did you get it this time? Well... When it said B, and then he was puzzled. Well, the word B yes. did it? And he was holding Well, I want, I want to show you something up. sneaky. Of course, the ham is for Hamlet, and the bill is for Bill Shakespeare. But watch this. You see, he's got two test tubes in his hand. Yes. One is tube E, and the other one is not tube E. <laughs> 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 Pretty tricky, huh? Well, that was very good. You're very, very fast. And Jason, uh, I don't want you to feel glum or unhappy because we also have for you a very, very handsome 17 jewel wristwatch that any young man would be delighted to own. Thank you very much. Let's see now. For 600 points, I believe, we'll find out what Merle gets for 600 points. Johnny Gilbert? Well, Merle, your next summer vacation will be a wonderful one with this 16-foot Old Town Sponson Canoe. It's fitted with air chambers amidship, which makes it much safer and more buoyant than the ordinary rowboat or canoe. And it's yours from Quick on the Draw. Well, I think that's pretty exciting. What, what do you think, Jerry? I think it's terrific. You like what she won? Yeah, she won a canoe. You like canoes? Sure. I can row a boat, canoe. Oh, no. Well, don't give me those kind of jokes. I don't need a need a boat. You don't need a boat? No, I just float. Did you see the drawing? Yeah. Tube E or not tube E. Get out of here. <laughs> now, don't act ridiculous, Jerry. Everybody will realize you're stupid. Well, I'm the dummy. What's your excuse? <laughs> now, stop this heckling. All right, we're going to have a new player right now. Uh, Johnny Gilbert, who's our next guest? Well, Paul, our next player is a girl who has lots of pets. And her hobby is making money. Say hello to Deborah Brust. How are you, Deborah? Deborah, this is Merle. Merle, this is Deborah. Hi. Uh, Johnny tells me that you have a lot of pets. Yes. What does he mean by a lot of pets? How many do you have? Uh, three. You have three pets? What are they? A guinea pig, a dog, and a bird. Is that the way you, uh, you, do you, do you like them in that order? Yes. The guinea pig is your favorite? Yes. Where do you keep a guinea pig in the house? Well, I keep him next to my bed. My father made him a box. Keep him right next to your bed? Yes. Doesn't he disturb you while you sleep? No. Well, why do you keep him next to your bed? Because sometimes my hand falls next to the bed and he tickles it. <laughs> he tickles your hand while you're sleeping? Yes. You like it? Yes. Oh. What's, what's, uh, what's his name? What do you call him? Squeaky. <laughs> Squeaky? Guinea pig squeak. Jerry, her guinea pig is squeaky. Well, why doesn't she try oiling them? Oh, <laughs> guinea pig is squeaky. And uh, another thing he said, an unusual hobby about making money. That's uh, not too unusual. How do you make money? Well, we have a trailer that we go camping in, and my, and, uh, my girlfriend and I, we started, a doll, we started washing clothes. Five cents an outfit, so we oh, you uh, wash, make money like that. You wash doll clothes for five yeah. cents an outfit. Oh, well, that's very interesting. All right, maybe you can uh, watch this game here and uh, see whether you can make uh, a little bit uh, more than five cents an outfit. All right, we're ready for our next game. And incidentally, all the games used on Quick on the Draw have been authenticated by the World Book Encyclopedia, the leading encyclopedia for home, school, and library. Now, let's watch our next picture, and we'll find out which one is Quick on the Draw. And I can tell you now that this picture represents the line of a nursery rhyme. A line in a famous nursery rhyme. And of course, as usual, as soon as you know the answer, don't hesitate to ring that buzzer. All 
right, there's that little K signifying the picture is done, and since neither of you have guessed it up until now, we'll go right on with our game. For 900 points, this line of a famous nursery rhyme has seven words in it. And Merle, since you're still our uh, champion winner here, you pick out the first letter. I. I. The letter I is a picture clue right off the bat. Jerry, will you explain this picture clue? Uh-huh. Right away, kids, don't fall asleep. Here comes the clue. Hey, it's a sheep. All right, there's a sheep. You have 10 seconds now. 10 seconds for the line of a nursery rhyme. All right, time is up now for 800 points. Uh, Deborah, would you please get us the next letter? And it is... A. A, the letter A. We'll uncover another picture clue. Jerry, give the clue as it's drawn. This animal doesn't go bow wow. It goes moo. Of course, it's a cow. There you are. There's the cow, all right. Ten seconds now. And I see a flicker in one eye over here. All right, you haven't got it yet, so for 700 points, Merle, you have... D. D, the letter D. The letter D gives us the word blow. Blow. Oh, I see a glimmer there. Something is starting to brew. All right, time is up for 600 points. Deborah, will you please get us? And that Thanks. is C, the letter C. Blue. Ah, there goes Merle again. There goes that light. Uh, Merle, you understand if you don't guess it correctly that Deborah gets a free guess and a free clue. All right, what do you think it is? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's Little Boy Blue Come Blow Your Horn. You are absolutely sure. It's Little Boy Blue Come Blow Your Horn. Listen, I have to blow your horn for you because you're certainly a very perceptive and very, very clever young lady and very thrilled, too, aren't you? Yes. Well, that's the third one in a row that you've managed to win, huh? And uh, Deborah uh, is no fault of yours because this girl is very, very quick on the draw. So uh, we don't want you to go away empty-handed. For you, we have a very, very lovely 17-jewel wristwatch that any young lady would be proud of. Thank you. Now, let me see. We have uh, 600 points. So let's find out what Merle wins for 600 points. Johnny Gilbert? Well, Merle, you've won this handsome Admiral All-World shortwave transistor portable radio. You'll have the world at your fingertips, built for long life and listening pleasure wherever you may be. And it is yours for being quick on the draw. Well, how do you feel about that? Good, because my, my uh, father's broken now. I can't listen to any. Oh, yes? You'll be able to hear all those wonderful, wonderful sounds, won't you? Well, you really have something to look forward to, that wonderful trip out to Disneyland, out to California. Did you ever take a ride on a jet before? No, I was planning on this summer to visit my cousins. Oh, then it just works out fine, huh? Yes. Well, isn't that wonderful? Say, listen, there's one other thing I'd like to ask you if we have a uh, 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 little time. Uh, I heard that you're very good at making pizzas. Is this true? Well, yes. Where'd you, where'd you learn to make pizzas? In school. They make pizzas in school? How, how did you make it? How do you go about making a pizza? What do you mean, the ingredients and everything? Yeah, well, like after you spread out that dough, you know, because I'm, I, I don't, I'm sure they don't want you to throw it around no, in school. the teacher does that for us. The teacher does that, huh? Yes. Oh. But it tastes good when you finish it? No. <laughs> it doesn't? No. It doesn't taste good when you finish it, huh? Well, all right, when you make a pizza, then uh, I would like very, very much for you to let me try some. Uh, we'll be back with another player in just a minute, but first, watch this.
Well, well, well. It's bonus picture time now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Merle Baldwin, not only are you today's high scorer, but you're today's only scorer. Seems that you have won every game so far. So now you have a chance at that wonderful bonus on top of all the wonderful prizes you've won. Would you like to know what the bonus prize could be? Uh, Johnny, will you tell us what... Uh, this lovely young lady could win. I sure will, Paul. Merle, if you can correctly identify our bonus picture, we're going to help you on your way to a college education. A cash scholarship of $2,500 at the college of your choice will be awarded by the Otis Matheson Chemical Corporation, one of the truly great pioneers in the fields of science, research, and industry. Now, let's see if you can be quick on the throne. <laughs> You know, I have a feeling that you are liable to walk off with our whole studio here today. $2,500 towards a four-year scholarship. That's pretty important to you, isn't it? Yes. This is a pretty big prize, right? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do because we do realize the seriousness of this particular question. So we're going to show you your picture being drawn. It'll take about 60 seconds to draw it. While it's being drawn, you kind of get your mind set and get the clues together. As soon as the picture is completed, we're going to give you 10 additional seconds, and as soon as the 10 seconds are up, you must give me the answer. Now, realizing how serious and important this $2,500 could be, I'm not going to say another word. And, Jerry, you won't make a sound. Nope, shut my mouth. Not a sound. All I can tell you is that this is a legendary figure and a famous hero. Okay? All right, let's watch the bonus picture. <laughs> There it is now. You have 10 additional seconds. All right, time is up now, Merle. Do you know? Yeah. Have no idea whatsoever? No. Oh, I'm terribly sorry you couldn't win our bonus, too. But uh, I can kind of break it down for you, and I bet you'll get it. A legendary figure. You see what's being thrown at him? Thrown. You don't know what's being thrown at his face? That's a pie. a pie. Pie, right, a piece of pie. And he's a plumber, right? He works with pipes. He's kind of a piper, isn't he? A pie piper. Oh! Well, I'm terribly sorry that you couldn't, that you couldn't win our bonus, too. But you did win such wonderful prizes. The trip for two to Disneyland, the old town sponsor canoe, and the Admiral Shortwave transistor radio. Thank you very, very much. It's wonderful having you here. And quick on the draw. Well, that's it for tonight. See you again next week, same time, for more fun, for more games. But before we say goodnight, Jerry has a word for you folks. Jerry? Remember, folks, if you're driving tonight, watch out the children. They're the worst drivers. Oh, quiet. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next week.